It was at Amboseli National Park in Kajado County where chasing, sedating and coloring elephants was done to mark this year's celebrations for World Elephants Day. <laughs> According to Tourism Cabinet Secretary Naji Balala, its ministry in conjunction with Kenya Wildlife Service will start profiling all elephants in the country to raise awareness against poaching as well as funds to provide a sustainable ecosystem. Watoto wandovu wamezaliwa tangu January 2020, takriban watoto wandovu miyamoja na sabini. Kama sisi kama jami wa Masai, tumekua na, na awa nyama tangu. Uh, tulikuwa tunaishi pamoja. Uh, atukosi kuwa na mgogoro lakini hata uki Naming, coloring and management plan for 34,000 elephants in the country is meant to give clear guidelines and law that will help protect elephant migratory corridors to ensure the ecosystem is safeguarded. The roadmap map has been set where wildlife human conflict will be resolved amicably, compensations are coming through and is something we are very happy about. And also benefits accruing from wildlife will now start going to the community. It was also noted that poaching has drastically reduced in the last three years with only seven elephants having been poached in the last one year. We regret it has been seven. Last year were 34 elephants poached. The year before there were 80 elephant poached. So you could see the numbers have gone down. Amboseli National Park is home to 2,000 elephants. Early this year, the park hit the deadlines for the then time to have elephants give birth to twins. After 40 years, uh, we managed to, go, to get two twins, which is very rare. And uh, one twin, I'm told, has been adopted by another media group. And the second team, uh, twins, have been adopted by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. The park is also famous for having the biggest elephants in size in Kenya. Elephants play a major role in ecosystem, hence their conservation is key to future generations. Dan Kaburu K24, Evening Edition.